What's going on? All of you growers and smokers out there. Easy Breezy here before this video starts. I uh, just want to show you guys we have launched some new merch here. Um, well, our first merch, I guess you could say. It's a lot better than the last stuff. I uh, just wanted to show you guys it real quick here. We got a whole bunch of different colors here. If you want it pink, you could have it pink. Um, everything like that. There's a ton of different colors. Um, just if you guys uh, want some shirts, want to help support the channel and everything like that, link will be in the description. Of course, let's get this out of here. Um, there will be more uh, products listed uh, later on. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy whatever video it is I'm making. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. What is going on? All of you growers and smokers out there, Easy Breezy here coming at you guys with another video. Today we have a very nice one. Um, let me move this tripod just a little bit. I'm sorry if you hear the cat in the background. She is in heat right now and uh, I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. Um, so before we get too far into this, I want to thank my uh, Patreon supporters, uh, Jimmy Quinn and the ones of course that will be listed. Uh, let's get them. Can we get them on? Can we get them on Uncle Ben right there? Uh, Put them right off to the side. One right here and one right here, maybe. Um, so, in this video, uh, we've got the Uncle Ben tech. And uh, so what you're going to need, of course, is Uncle Ben rice. Uh, get the ready rice, uh, the whole grain brown. And uh, to make sure you got the right one, look at the ingredients in the back. Water, whole grain brown rice, less than 2% of uh, canola oil. The oil is just uh, to keep the rice from sticking together. Uh, it will be fine. Um... The oil won't hurt the mycelium or anything. Of course, you're going to need your spores. And we got some nice ones here. You're going to need some uh, uh, micro pore tape here or this cloth tape. Uh, the same thing. Of course, you're going to need your isopropyl alcohol. Wow, that was bad. Isopropyl alcohol. I'm sorry for that, guys. Uh, my cat just jumped up here. Can you get down? Can you get down? Thank you. Um, so with that, let's get right into it. Uh, you're going to need cotton swabs too, I guess. So the first step of this, uh, these these things are great for beginners. Um, if you're new to growing, honestly, it's one of the most foolproof ways of doing it. And it's relatively cheap, coming in at $2 a bag. First step, get a cotton swab, get some of our alcohol, uh, get the cotton swab soaked in. A little alcohol and let's uh, sterilize these bags a little bit. Uh, for our injection hole and um, So these come already pre-sterilized uh, Pre-cooked well pre-cooked I guess but they're sterilized inside meaning um, You don't have to do anything don't have to pressure cook nothing like that So let's uh, start wiping down our area to sterilize it and we're gonna wipe down the D in our ready race so uh, let's get our D uh, Wiped down pretty good. Let's make a nice nice surface area and I'm just going to show you guys with this one bag I don't want this video to go on forever I will do the same exact steps here for all of these bags uh, so once we get the D wiped down pretty good um, is that a pause on that one that's about a half pause we're gonna half pause on that one uh, set it down make sure of course uh, I, I forgot to mention this make sure of course your hands are clean everything is clean um, and as a precaution again I'm going to uh, Go ahead and sterilize my hands one more time, just to be sure. And uh, so now that we got that, honestly, it's it's so simple. Um, I buy ten bags um, of this rice for one syringe. We'll do one cc per bag. And uh, in case you guys haven't seen my video of how to break up clumps, you guys know these clumps here are extremely, extremely hard to break up. Actually, this one turned out pretty decent. Actually, that broke up really good. Um, but if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. Um, yeah, wow. I'm actually really shocked that these broke up that good. Um, so let's get her shaken up a little bit more. And um, oh, I got to find my, uh, my needle. There we go. And uh, all we're going to do now is just take the cap off. If I can get it off. All right. Of course, we're going to open up our needle. A little needle tip here. 
and uh, we're going to screw it in just like that. Take it out, Un uh, unhook it, grab our ready race, and we'll put it right in the D. Small insertion. Uh, you don't want to go too deep, about halfway. And make sure you spin it around so you can actually see how many CCs you're putting in. And we will go, we'll put a little more in this one. Then my dog is now whining. Um, and we'll cover this up with micro pore tape. Actually, you know what? We'll do that right now. I can uh, re sterilize this syringe later on um, just to show you guys so this video does not go on forever. And uh, honestly, this is it. All right, cat, dog. All right, all right. Uh, and we'll just throw a little bit of micro pore tape over it. And that's perfect. Now, you're going to want to uh, put your injection hole at the top and not the bottom that way because it's hard to see you can't really see anything but you could flip it up and you can see you got a nice little viewpoint so when you start seeing the colonization happening here then you know it's pretty much ready to go usually I'll wait about a week after and uh, before I take them out and transfer to fruit and so if you guys like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time keep on growing keep on smoking and I'll catch you guys in the next episode see you later Sorry guys, I also forgot to mention uh, that one hole that I make will not be enough to allow uh, good oxygen exchange. I recommend putting three holes in. So after that hole, you're going to want to put one probably in the O of the brown and one right down here, right in the middle of the rice here, and then just cover it up. Just make a couple little holes uh, with the syringe you can. Uh, it will be fine and that will be adequate enough oxygen exchange. So. Catch you guys later.